Hello everyone, welcome in. It's time for tea. You should always take some time to sit down, have a cup of tea, try to do it every day if you can. If you can't, at least sit down a little, a little bit of time for yourself to have some tea. Now, I have purchased by myself my own money. This is not sponsored, but if they wanted to sponsor me, hello, contact information is below, of course, um, of Sip Spy. Because Sip Spy, every month, I get a little selection of teas. Um, it says, you know, made for Deborah. It's got my name right on it. Because you go in there and you put your preferences in. I pretty much told them, give me all the things. Loose tea, not loose tea, caffeinated, not caffeinated, herbal, all the things because I want to try all the things okay this comes from my January box and it is Christmas in Paris and it's by stash tea I've got you get four bags when you do it okay this is what the stash tea Christmas in Paris looks like Noel à Paris I think that's I'm saying that right I might not be saying that right I don't speak French and I only speak like this much Spanish when you finally get the timer going off, which will be very, very soon, that means that the steeping time is up because they do give you on tea recommended steeping times. If you steep way too long, it's going to get bitter. If you use water, there we go, use water that's too hot, um, it could mess it up as well. I didn't know that until, you know, fairly, fairly recently. Now, as far as the information on here goes, Christmas in Paris sips by stash tea. One bag per eight ounces of water. So I do extend my steep time a little bit because I do not have mugs that are that small. <laughs> I have mugs. I don't have teacups. Okay. Um, it says, this is a very low caffeine, by the way. Uh, and they also give you the caffeine content and stuff in here, which I love because I don't want to drink like a super high caffeine tea at night before I'm going to bed. But boy, when I'm working, a cup of high caffeine tea really helps. Okay. Uh, one bag for eight ounces of water, 190 to 210 Fahrenheit. I don't have the Celsius conversion, but that's just below boiling. So just below 100 um, in Celsius, probably. It says steep three to five minutes. Cocoa shells, peppermint, lavender, natural chocolate flavor, and vanilla extract. I'll read the rest of the description to you. This unique herbal tea blends chocolate with aromatic lavender and cool peppermint for a sophisticated cup sophisticated hello add a touch of sugar and milk for a delightful dessert tea now that sounds right up my alley okay I have to tell you when I opened the the, the tea bag you rip it open because they're sealed you know it was like it was so aromatic and you know what it reminds me of peppermint bark mocha peppermint okay wow it smells delicious it's I can't show you the color in this cup. Oh, by the way, very cool mug there. See the kitty on there? I love all kinds of kitties. And also, if you're new here, this is just a, uh, a clothespin, a decorated clothespin. Now, Stash gives you nice long strings on their tea bags. Not everybody does. Sometimes you get a little short one. So I clip it to my thing, and it sets down on the table right next to it so that that tea bag, the string is not getting lost up in there, and you don't get the paper up in there. Now, I am going to pull this out now. I'm going to set it on my little plate that I have here. I'm not going to squeeze the tea bag though. Sometimes that makes things a little bitter. I'm going to kind of whap it on the side so it gets a little more out so it's not real drippy. And there it goes. Now, y'all know, if you've been here for a minute, that super hot things just burn my face off, okay? Oh, I want to smell it first. I could smell this all day long. And I'm not a huge lavender fan, so I'm not getting lavender in the face of this because I love purple. Lavender's beautiful, right? The scent of it just to me is like, eh, maybe not. Oh, but that smells lovely. Now I want to taste it without the sweetener first, okay? I have to blow on it, okay? It's a little bit warm, but you can see it's not a super dark tea. tastes a little bit different than it smells. It does need sweetener. I tell you. Sometimes, I mean, it smells very desserty on its own. I put in stevia. Um, if you hear somebody else rattling around some tea, that's okay. I've got a friend here who I'm sharing some tea with today, and he doesn't want to be on camera, so he's just having some tea next to me, and we're trying tea, so it's okay. 
you hear things. This is a house. This is not a studio. All right. A little bit of stevia. Put that in there. Give it a stir. And I have some milk over. You know, I'm out of vanilla creamer. I walked to the fridge and I was cursing a minute ago because I'm out of vanilla creamer. This should not be allowed to happen. So I've poured some milk in here. Don't worry. The rest won't go to waste because I will drink it if it doesn't end up in my teacup. I like milk. Moo juice. Yes, it definitely needs the sweetener. <coughs> you okay? <laughs> You're supposed to drink it, not inhale it. Okay. Um, which I've had that problem before. I had a video a couple weeks ago where I had to pause the video because I was coughing up a lung because it was soaked with tea. Okay. Um, but yeah, definitely needs the sweetener. But you really do get the chocolate in this and the mint. It's like... It's like mocha peppermint. Um, but did you get it Christmas time? Yeah, Christmas in Paris. That totally fits. Now, I want some milk in mine. So, let's milk that up a little bit. Oh, and now it's nice and white and creamy. Oh, I'll pour some for you as well. You tell me when. It's probably good. If you want more, you can definitely have more. There's a good bit of a gallon in the fridge as well. We ain't lacking for milk here. We're just lacking on vanilla creamer. Hello. Okay. I'll stop griping about my vanilla creamer now. Mm. And that cooled it down just enough for me to drink too, I think. <laughs> That's another bonus of adding creamer because it cools it down enough for my mouth to take it. Mm. Still quite warm, but that is nice. That is, I see where they say a dessert tea. After dinner, you're sitting around, you're watching a little TV, doing a little crochet because that's what we do. Um, yeah, this is super nice. I don't know if you can order it from Stash all the time. I've never tried to order tea from Stash, but I know you can get Stash teas at a lot of stores. Um, also Sips Buy, they're all over the internet. You can try them out. And I actually heard about Sips Buy from, uh, Pamela's Adoring Crochet because she gets Sips Buy as well. And she told us about it and I went and checked them out and I went, oh, that's actually not bad. It comes in the mail. It's like a little surprise, you know, it's like, oh. I got mail that's not a bill. Yay! And it kind of makes your day. I'm going to have some more. But I'm going to smell it first. That smells so nice. It's like I'm in kind of a dessert shop that has a lot of chocolate and some pepperminty things. And now I want to eat all the things too. Thanks! <laughs> but now I can drink my tea. Mmm. The funny thing is, if I just read the description, I would have stayed away from this because of the lavender. Because I'm not a real big fan of the lavender scents. It's like, it's just too much. You know, a lot of times you get like lavender scented um, bath stuff and I'm like, whoa, whoa. Somebody shoved a lavender sprig up my nose. Okay. But this, it must just be used as an accent to kind of enhance something else. Whatever they did, it's brilliant. They did it well stash this is definitely fat chick approved probably even skinny chick approved if i do a skinny chick but definitely approved anywho have you tried this flavor of tea before have you tried stash teas everything i they put out some good teas you ever tried sips by this is my box by the way it's it sits here open trying to lure me in to drink more tea like right now there'll be more coming every monday we take a little bit of time for tea. Some playlists popped up above your head. If you want to click on them, enjoy. I'd love it if you left me a comment. If you're not subscribed, if you consider doing that, that would be awesome. And I really hope to see you soon. Bye, y'all.